So I'm chilling on the block with the boy Enrique, you feel me? Out there just cool, man. Kicking the bobos, you know. When he get a text on his phone. My bro got a cool gas 40. Young man, that keep on dirty. Throw it back on the stick when she horny. 42 got me smack no Georgie. Got an ass on the Drake, it's an old. Hey, yo, Frank. Come take a ride with me on me to get this paper in the Bronx. We crip on my lap, cause some of my choppers, we waste them on ops. Sometimes they hop out and wreck. Brody walking, I fuck out the room. All right, Brody. Let's get it then. I was getting tired of sitting on the block anyway. And you know the money's the reason why I'm out here, cuz. Let's do it. So after that, some of his boys have pulled up on us in a white Camaro, you feel me? Alright, my goons right there gonna troll us. Let's ride out. That's when I stop caring. Try to run up and they try to dare him. Bullets fuck up his appearance. Gang. They run up, try to dare him, nigga. Bullets fuck up his appearance. Not at all. I got it tucked on my huggies. Hey, yo, Frank. I've been dealing with these guys for a minute. But you know it never hurts to be extra but cautious with these type of things. If things should get out of hand, my soldiers right there gonna help us lay the murder game down on whoever try and violate now this play right here, homie, is for like 20 of them joints. Quick in and out, 700,000, and I'm doing this all the time, B. So we had ended up pulling up to the projects in the Bronx, you feel me? We sitting out there, just waiting for the play to come. But after sitting there waiting for 30 minutes, I knew something wasn't right. Hey, cuz, I don't like this. You said this would be in and out, and it's been like 30 minutes, homie. What's the deal? Hey, yo, Frank, just chill, homie. Everything gonna be good. Dude done caught from me at least eight times. He know better. He probably just got caught up in traffic. You know it get real crazy out here, cuz. So while we sitting there waiting, you feel me, a black Tahoe pull up on us. And block us in. Four Yo, I know this better not be what I think it is. Yeah, cuz. It's looking like your boy set us up. We gotta think fast. I told you this wasn't right, cuz. Now before his boy can even come help us, y'all, you feel me? A dude pop out the cut with a Draco and get the spray and whip up. After that, the dude ran up on the car to the side of my window. Before you know it, y'all, they got us surrounded. They telling us, you niggas better get the fuck out the car now before I lose my patience. It looks like we ain't got no choice, cuz. We try to make a move now, and we both dead. Hey, yo, damn, homie. I can't believe this shit, man. But you right. Something in my mind said I should have just listened to you in the first place. And just pulled off. But let's get out and see what they want. Hey, yo, listen, homie. You can have the work. You know, they tell Enrique, shut up, nigga. Ain't even about the work. Boss want to see you. And he wants you alive. It's some bullshit right here. Then the other goon tell us, y'all coming with us. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna split y'all head. So Reek get up, you feel me? He hopping that thing. I'm trying to talk the other goon down. I'm like, come on, homie. Man, give me a break. It ain't even worth it. Now the nigga tell me shut up unless I want to die right here. And I need to hurry up and get up. All right, homie. I'm going to get up. Just don't shoot me. He tell me slowly, nigga. Move too fast and he going to pop me. So who is these niggas boss, right? Man, if it's who I think it is supposed to be, meet me for the play. It's this older cat named Lou from out here. And his name old wait in the Bronx. So why he trying to kidnap us? Now what you do to piss him off? Now one of the goons hopping in Rike whip, you feel me? The other one pop up on him and tell him stay close and follow him. Hey yo, I ain't got no beef with Lou, homie. What's going on? Hey, I'm from LA, homie. I don't know what's going on out here. I don't know what's going on. The boss just said to bring y'all back alive. That's what dude telling us. So we ended up pulling up to a used auto shop, you feel me? Y'all, when we pull in that thing, it's an old nigga with a hat on and glasses. Just standing there smoking a cigarette. After that, the boy Enrique car pulled up and that goon hopped out, took his post out there. Well, if it ain't my favorite trapper from Harlem, what's going on, Reek? Hey, yo, man, I thought me and you was good. What's the meaning of all this? I've been giving you good numbers on them joints every time you come shop with me, man. We should not have no beef, Lou. Yeah, well... You see, Looney B said, I can get them for 30 a piece if I got rid of your ass. Hey, yo, listen, homie. I'm from L.A. I ain't got nothing to do with your issues. Let me go, and I can plug you in with the cartel. You will get them way lower than that. For real. I ain't got no loyalty to this dude. Hey, yo, damn, Frank. You gonna, sm you gonna snake me out like that, homie? I thought you was good people. Y'all do what y'all gotta do. All right then, young blood. You kill this nigga, and we got a deal. Hey, yo, Frank, you snake-ass nigga, man. Listen, you do what you gotta do, homie. Cause I'm ready to die, and I've been ready for a minute. Hey yo, sorry homie, it's either me or you. That nigga telling me hurry up and do it before he changes his mind, he ain't got all day. Y'all know what I do. Up. Bitch. Get the blast on all them fools. I tell him, yeah nigga, now it's time for you to get on your knees. Hey, yo, man, homie, you had a nigga and going for a minute. Don't ever do that again. Now, you know I ain't cut like that, homie. Now, you gonna tell me where the hell Looney be at? And nigga Lou like, listen, homie, all I know is him and some female pulled up on me early. They offered me a deal I couldn't refuse. I guess that's that. Lady, no.
Hey, yo, Frank, we got to get out of here before 12 show up, homie. Yeah, you right. But we got to figure this out ASAP. Whatever we do, that fool Looney B got to die tonight. Word to my mother. Now let's bounce, homie. Hey, yo, I'm with you. We just got to figure out how we going to do it. Once we get back to my hood, B, we'll figure this out. Whoever that female is, that's the key to catching Looney B, cuz. So we get back to Harlem, y'all. And guess what we see? Hey, yo, son. That's the nigga car right there, ain't it? At your shorty spot. Hey, yo, she set us up this whole time, homie. I can't believe we ain't see that coming. Man, I saved her life and set her up out here. The baby was plotting on her come up the whole time, man. I can't believe she really played me like that, homie. And I'm mad. Hey, yo, listen. You never see the double cross coming, homie. You get out of here, hit a few corners. I'll keep an eye on the spot for you. Yeah, you right, cuz. Cause if she see my car, she might get alarmed. Just let me know when that nigga pull off, cuz. Hey, we gonna make both they asses pay low. After that, y'all, your boy yanked off and hit him a few corners. Now, while I'm gone, my nigga Reek got eyes on her spot, you feel me? Waiting to catch dog out there. After about 15 minutes, y'all, they finally popped out that thing. They out there kicking it, you know, whatever they doing. Don't really know what they were saying, you feel me? After being outside for a couple minutes, the boy pop in his car and pull off. After seeing all that y'all, the boy Rick hit me up and told me. He confirmed it. He like, yeah, shorty file. We gotta do this now. So I'm in the car, you feel me, and I get the message. I told him, say less, it's done. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Your boy was kind of hurt, man. Somebody took the goodness and the kindness out of my heart and took advantage of it. But we was finna set all this up. But I got my phone out, you feel me? And I called Shorty up. What's up, baby? I know we ain't spent a lot of time together, but I really want to go out tonight. So she told me she was going to be ready, you feel me? So I pulled back up on her block. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I was pissed off, and I was really trying to hide it. It was kind of hard. But I had to play it off for the plan, y'all. She get in the car like ain't nothing happened. You feel me? So 
I hit her with that. Hey, yo, listen, baby. I'm sorry I've been neglecting you. You know how this business be. Hey, but what's a good spot to go out here on for a date? She tell me. Uh, let's go to Central Park. It's nice out there. So we end up pulling up to Central Park, y'all. So we end up hopping out, y'all. And I did not know Central Park was this big, man. That was a long walk. Damn. The city look real nice at night with them lights. She like, yeah, it's real beautiful, babe. I tell her. I'm like, hey, man. Let's go to the dock. I want to stand by the water. get out on the dock y'all you feel me i'm out there talking to her i'm like hey yo it was real nice to get out here and finally spend some time with you babe you know she tell me i feel the same way frank it just be so lonely out here in the city i be needing somebody to hold me at night and you be all the way in california so I hit her with that. Oh, so is that why you helped Looney B set me and Enrique up? She like, set y'all up. What are you talking about? I don't even get down like that, Frank. I'm a real one. I tell her, listen, shorty, cut the bullshit. I just want to know where Looney B at and why you did it. She finally admitted, y'all. She like, okay, Frank, I'm going to be real. Me and Looney have been kicking it since I got out here. That's who protect me. And he told me if I could bring him a money play, he'd give me $300,000. You only gave me a hundred since I've been out here. But honestly, I didn't know you would be in Enrique when it happened. You could have warned me. Now where the fuck is that nigga hiding, you feel me? Sure to get to hit me with that. Okay, okay, please don't shoot. He told me he was going to be at his homie crib in Harlem down the street from the court. That's all I know. Now, please let me go. I'm sorry, Frank. Man, I don't ever want to see you again. If I do, you dead. Shorty, get up. She like, thank you, Franklin. You'll never see me again. I know I won't, baby. Y'all know I had to handle that. I couldn't trust her no more. It was hard, but I had to do it, y'all. So I leave out the park, y'all. You feel me? Get back to the whip. I text the boy Enrique like, yeah, cuz, it's time to make our move. I'm on the way till you get ready. Gang. Hey, yo, check this out, homie. My homies located the nigga, and it's only four of them out there. I'm like, good. Let's get this done, homie. Them niggas ain't gonna know what hit them. It was straight murder on my mind, you feel me? Me and Reese. We had just been kidnapped and almost killed earlier, man. Everybody had to die for that. So we end up pulling up on that block, you feel me? Hit the lights. 
stop the engine. You already know what time it was then. Prepped on them niggas. Heard him say it's a pack on my head, so we slaughtered him. Say it's a pack on my head, so we spit him. He a rapper, we searching through pictures and comments. I'm trying to get one of these Instagram the line him. Step or gon' step, get stepped on. They know I'm cutting a check off. Told him to bring me a check. Them boys out there kicking it. I ain't see us at first, you feel me? Hey, Looney B must have heard me, y'all, because that boy got the front. As soon as I hit the clock, left all his soldiers to die. Y'all know me. I chased that boy down. And that boy Reek was clapping from a distance. Now before we leave y'all, I had to make a statement, so I tell cuz, I'm finna Molotov his vet. Fuck him. He like, do it. After that, we I got up out of there, y'all. For the police and them showed up. After pulling back out the Enrique block, one of his homeboys that came and took care of the Impala said he was finna go dump it for us. Listen, Frank, they don't make them like us no more, homie. You a real stand-up nigga, cuz. Anything you need from me, you got it. Man, consider me and my team a part of your movement. And you can count this city as your second home, should you ever need to, cuz. I'm like, shit, welcome to the team, homie. Now it's time to run these millions up. Let's get it. The boy like... That's exactly what I want to hear, my nigga. The sooner the better. And with Looney B out the way now, all of Harlem is mine, homie. Nobody else going to challenge that. Just make sure that work keep coming, and we going to keep getting it. After that, y'all, it was time for your boy to take off. I had gained a valuable ally out here, y'all. Now, while I was walking away, y'all, I ended up catching something else in my eye, y'all. A whole new city and untapped market out there in Jersey, y'all. But I think that's a story for another time, y'all. After doing all this, y'all. Your boy just had to do a few more things out here in NYC. And we was finna head back to LA. But this was only the beginning, y'all. The United States was gonna be mine. After spending a week on the East Coast, y'all, it was finally time to go home. Now when I get back to LA y'all, first thing I do, pull up on my boy Martin, you feel me? Let him know about the good news and how everything went in New York. Get paid, fuck beef, nigga, get paid. I become Lil 
Oh, bro, switch lanes. Uppercase, young nigga, sort of big can. And all our guns, hoes running up, nigga, get laid. Speaking down on a nigga, you a hoe, nigga, bitch. Why you lying, acting like you told pros, nigga? Catch you like and guarantee it's a scrub, nigga. Talking all that cash shit, but you surprise, bro. Y'all, when I get there. Martin ain't even there. But it's some um, Miguel there. All you hear is buddy dropping in them cuffs, click. That's what be the gang, all my niggas with this shit. I bust out of hop and I bust out of bitch. No drive by to my nigga try to slow. Young nigga with the straight cuz I'm out there, you feel me? Telling me yell about everything that went on in New York. How we done expanded, you know what I'm saying? How we trying to take the movement nationally, you feel me? And I dropped them on three million dollars. And I asked him, I'm like, so where your pops at, man? I'm surprised I ain't see him here. He tell me that his pops away on an important business trip, but he'll be back soon. He also tell me keep up the good work, man. Him and his pops knew that they made a good decision when they started working with me, man. As long as everything continues to go smooth, we're going to make a whole lot of money. To me, that was all I need to hear, y'all. That was music to your boy here. So after chopping it up with him for a little bit, man, it was time for your boy to go. Yeah, niggas know the game, nigga. Talk shit when it's diamonds in your chain, nigga. All chrome 32 had to tuck that. Two tone 380 had to bust that. With the Madrazo behind the expansion, y'all. Your boy is gonna start seeing hundreds and hundreds of bricks out of town now. Put that barrel to his face, boys. Bust back, make a nigga strip like a top bitch. Call that shot Ray Rice, how it just shit. Doing pop-ups, mom's house, tech shots, two blocks, headshots, young money, bear rock. Man's turn dummy, so we gotta catch a little Nah, that ain't the only thing I had up my sleeve, though, gang. See, when I was on my way back into town, I had allocated some funds to a couple different things. One of those things was finishing getting all the cars that I needed. I mean, at this point, y'all, we was definitely ready for the grand opening. I just had to make sure everything was right. We had filled every spot in the dealership with nice cars. A variety of cars. You could get anything that you wanted here. From foreigns to old schools to trucks, whatever. To luxury cars, you know what I'm saying? Anything you needed. This grand opening was finna be lit. Besides that, y'all, your boy went ahead and dropped that bread and got me a new crib, y'all. In the hills. Talking about nice hillside mansion, you feel me? Shout out Agatha. Man, I couldn't believe it, y'all. Your boy had made it. Your boy also went and hollered at that boy how you feel me. Got that Rolls Royce Dawn. Man, that thing was so nice, y'all. I couldn't wait to hit the streets and that clown, you feel me? Man, in my eyes, y'all, wasn't nobody doing it on this level war messing with your boy. Man, that crib was so cold, y'all. I had the pool. With the water going over the edge, man. Jacuzzi, all that. And we was finna have some real lit parties here, y'all. And the view was so amazing, y'all. I'm telling you, it was really immaculate. I could see the whole city from the crib, man. This was everything I had ever wanted. And then some. But I had to try that dawn out, y'all. See how that thing rides, you feel me? That boy Johan thought he did something by getting that Wraith, man. Tell him to step his game up, man. Your boy got that dawn thing. Double R in the double R. 
Now, speaking of Johan, y'all, I bet that boy thought he was running the city now since I was out of town. And he probably thought that he ran me out the city or something like that. Yeah, let him continue to think that, though, y'all. Now, of course, the feds were still on your boy trail, y'all. That definitely didn't change just because your boy went out of town for a week. Man, I know they was getting their asses chewed out, man. Y'all got your witness killed. Even though y'all made a nice little bus on your boy. Getting that witness killed. That put a big dent in y'all case against me. Without Baby D, they was back to square one again. But one thing y'all got to remember about the feds, y'all, they real persistent when it comes to getting who they want. And regardless of how many roadblocks you put up in their way, man, them boys is not going to give up. To them, they just needed to find a new angle in. So as it would happen, y'all, I'm at my trap house, you feel me? I had just cleaned it out, got the last of the work out of it, you feel me? When I come outside, y'all, I look across the street, and these motherfuckers watching me. I couldn't believe it, y'all, but y'all know me. Let me walk over here and introduce myself. I know they like, oh, this nigga crazy. He really walking up on us. I get over there, I'm like, what's going on, officers? They hop out that thing, you feel me? They get to talking they little trash like, you got big boys, boy. Just walking on us like that. I'm like, I just wanted to come over and introduce myself, man. Y'all over here watching me for no reason. And y'all ain't even got nothing on the boy, man. So I don't know why y'all out here, man. You know, I'm sitting there talking that shit to him. They telling me, yeah, it's real funny how your boy Baby D died. I tell them, I'm like, listen, man. I was out of town when that happened. I don't know nothing about no Baby D or him dying. The other officer like, oh, he's a real smart ass, huh? We should put a bullet in you, boy. Keep talking. I'm offended at this point. I'm like, listen, y'all have a good day, officers. I'm not finna play this back and forth game with y'all. After that, y'all, they getting a little whip and pull off. I knew each step I took after this, y'all, was gonna have to be real smooth and calculated. But I wasn't worried about it. Cause I was gonna always stay two steps ahead of them. Now with everything I had going on in my plans for expansion, y'all, every move that I made was gonna have to be discreet. So after a long wait, gang, we finally got the grand opening to the dealership going. We had DJ Moody Man out there DJing that thing, you feel me? All my people's in there with me, you know. We in there politicking, talking. You know, they telling me how proud they is of me. A lot of customers in there looking at cars, man. I'm feeling real good about it.
this was exactly what I wanted, y'all. Some legitimate money coming in. Out the corner of my eye, I have to keep some real fat in the corner looking at my drop top being. So y'all know me. I walk up over there on it. Like you need help with anything, baby, let me know. I'm my owner. My name Frank. She like, are you? Well, Frank, you got some really nice cars for show. Me and my daughter are shopping for something new. I'm like, where your daughter at? She like, that's my daughter over there in the blue shorts. I think she likes that Audi truck you got. So I tell baby, well, maybe I can cut you a deal on it. I can get your number. She like, you seem like a nice guy. Okay. So y'all know me. I pull out the phone, you know, get the digits. Y'all know me, 2P out here. I tell her, okay, I'm gonna hit you up later, baby. She like, you make sure you do. I'll be waiting. After that game, I walk back over by my fan. While we in there enjoying ourselves, y'all, the damn feds had to roll up. And I ain't even peeped they was here at first. Then I see him walk up, and they telling me, come here. I tell my people, y'all stay right here and hold on real quick. I got to go handle something. They're like, this is real nice, Mr. Clinton. Too bad it's funded by drug money. We can't wait to shut you down. I'm like, what is y'all talking about? Y'all show up to my business establishment for no reason. Y'all got the wrong person. I don't sell nothing but cars. They like, you think you so smart, Frank. But we on to you. The other one like, yeah, boy. One for us moving, that's your ass. I'm like, listen, man. If y'all ain't got a warrant or probable cause, I'm going to need y'all to vacate the premises before I call my lawyer. Now, while I'm out there arguing with them, y'all, my cousin Ant roll up on me. He like, everything good, cuz? These clowns bothering you? I'm like, yeah, cuz. These guys are just leaving. I'm like, Tiny Ant, we missed you when we raided your crib, boy. Yeah, y'all real dirty having y'all rat plant that. We know that was yours, boy. Cut that smart shit before I go upside your head. No, partner, we was just leaving. We'll be watching you. They almost hit me pulling out that thing. I had to stay cool under pressure, gang. I couldn't let these clowns see me sweat. I had legal money coming in now. I go over to Cuz after that. I'm like, stay on your toes, Cuz, because them clowns ain't going to stop. So after that, y'all having a good day at the dealership, you feel me? Making a couple dollars off a couple cars we had sold. It was time to go celebrate. So we pull up to the Vanilla Unicorn, you feel me? We mob up in that thing. You ready for this? She likes fine wines and red it's looking real lit in that thing, y'all. Come, 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 Mr. Sunlight. Couple homies from the hood in there, you know, looking yeah, all right. good. You got kids, Everybody you got in that them. thing in their own little mode, you feel me? Lamar on his phone, I'm chilling. Uncle G chilling. And ass in the corner smoking weed. Funny as hell, man. Now I would just so happen, gang, at that same time, the boy Joe Hunt was pulling up. And 
I know we seen our whips parked outside. Walk up in that thing, y'all. We see him and he see us. Lamar, like, ain't that them niggas right there? I'm like, yeah, but we ain't finna do this up in here, bro. Like, them niggas saying, fuck the hood, bro. They gotta get in here. I'm like, listen, man, like I said, we ain't gonna do this in here, bro. He like, well, something gotta happen, man. I ain't finna take this disrespect, bro. Yeah, them niggas was real disrespectful, y'all. Young nigga ain't nothing but a rock. Hey, what the fuck you gonna tell me? That brand new go drop one time. What the fuck they gonna tell me? With the feds watching us, I knew it wouldn't be smart to do it inside the strip club. Not to see my cousin Ant was in the corner on fire about the whole situation. So I had to definitely keep an eye on him. I ain't gonna lie, gang. That boy had some balls walking up in the strip club in our hood trying to set trips. It was real funny to me, but I had to respect it. And then my cousin aunt start throwing up the hood at them fools. Like, that's the type of game y'all wanna play with cracking. Then he started yelling at them boys. Talking about this our hood, y'all niggas out of bounds. We can handle this outside. After that, y'all, we mob outside the club. I mean mugging cuz the whole time I walk out, he mean mugging right back. Once we get outside, the boys followed us outside, just like I knew they would. You already know it was on at that point. So I knocked that boy Joe Hun out. One hit. And stomped him out. Come up here playing with me like that, boy. On six, so... Then my little cuz aunt knocked his homeboy out. I'm talking about head, but sleep. Then he walk over and start kicking Joe Hun. I'm like, chill out, cuz. He's sleep already. I'm like, but let's get out of here, y'all. We handled our business today. We ain't got nothing else to prove out here. And after that, y'all, we hopped in our whips and got the fuck on. We went our separate ways. I was finna go drop Uncle off at the crib. And was finna go drop off with Mark. We pull up the unk spot, you feel me? We get to talking. I'm telling you, man, today was a good day besides the bullshit, huh? You like, yeah, but you handled your business like a Clinton boy supposed to. I'm proud of you, nephew. When you first got out, I didn't think you was going to make it this big. But I'm glad you did. So 
know, he just in there chopping it up. And he finally finna get out. He like, I love you, Neff. Call me tomorrow. I'm like, love you too, huh? He hop out that thing, boy. I had one of my little shorties at my spot waiting for me, so I was finna go handle that. Enjoy the rest of my night. And at that same time, y'all, the boy Joe Hunt and his homeboy was waking up from a little nap. And I know he was pissed. He just got stomped out and embarrassed. Now the events that was about to transpire after this game made me wish I would have just killed his ass in the parking lot. He went back to his block, got all blacked up, and he was on a mission. He was gonna find me or one of my people and make a statement. I was five o'clock in the morning at this time, again, so ain't nobody thinking nobody gonna be out sliding. So this fool pull up to my home spot, cut the lights, shut the car off. And I don't know why my uncle's outside smoking a cigarette at 5 in the morning. Maybe he's still lit or something. But he ain't even see the boy Joe when he's coming to you. Let him know. Who would have knew me stomping out that clown would have caused this? Like I said, Joel, I had a little shorty waiting at the crib for me. So, you know, we out there chilling just, I did our thing, you know, smoking a little blunt, you feel me? Talking my little shit to her, you know? When I get a text on my phone from my auntie talking about, your uncle got shot, and they said he ain't make it. And I text her back like, I'm on my way. Man, I was so sick, y'all. When I was just with my uncle. And now they were saying he was gone. I tell baby, like, look, I got a family emergency. Just lock the door on your way out. I'm going to text you when I get situated. Man, I went in that thing. It changed so quick, y'all. I had to get to the hood ASAP. So I needed something fast. The dawn wasn't going to do it. So I hopped in my Hellcat. Whatever. I was doing a dash the whole way there, y'all. I was going to get to the hood in five minutes. I ain't had nothing but murder on my mind, y'all. When I finally pull up to my auntie crib, the whole fam out there, Aunt Lamar, my auntie, and Aunt Mama. I get up out that thing, walk over by the fam. Everybody out there looking sad. Aunt Lamar look mad as hell, just like me. I'm like, so how you holding up, auntie? 
She like, my little brother is dead, Franklin. Since your mom died, it's always been us. How you think I'm holding up? I'm a wreck right now. Lamar like, they said a nigga with dreads pulled off in a truck. My auntie like, it's gotta be that little boy from the east side y'all been beefing with. And like, we should have killed that nigga at the club, Frank. But he gotta go now. Man, y'all, after hearing all that, I was so conflicted. I really felt like it was my fault. And it was. Because if I would have did what I was supposed to do, my uncle would still be here. And I just stared into the sky until the sun came up, gang. Sad as hell, but thinking, plotting. I was finna get that boy Joe Hun together. It was time for him to die. So it was finally time for my Uncle G funeral, y'all. So y'all know the pastor up there, he preaching. You know, he get to talking some kind words about my uncle, you feel me? Man, the whole family was in there hurting, y'all. And me especially, because I knew this was all my fault. So after the pastor get done talking, you feel me? It's time for everybody to go up there and say their last words. My uncle was a great man, a family man that stood on loyalty and integrity. Ever since I was a kid, always looked up to him and wanted to be just like him. He will be truly missed by us all. We love you, aunt. After that, my auntie get up there. And she get to talking about how much she gonna miss her baby brother And how it was for them growing up in South Central Man, y'all, this was killing me on the inside After that, aunt, moms, and pops got up there Talking about how they was gonna miss their cousin, Gerald And about all the laughs and smiles that he brought to the family events after that, Aunt Lamar got up there and they started talking about how much they was going to miss G and how he always looked out for them growing up and made sure that they never wanted for nothing if they asked. I could tell out of everybody though, y'all, my brother Lamar was the most hurt. They was always the closest. After that, y'all, a Mexican lady and her son got up there. I had recognized a little dude from the hood. He was only 16. His name was Gerardo Jimenez. Hood name, Infant G Stone. The lady was saying how her and my Uncle G go back 20 years and how they was close and she'll always love him. I was wondering what they was doing here. Man, I really hurt us with this one. So after that, y'all, we all ride out to the cemetery to see my uncle for the last time and lay him to rest. I think it was a surreal moment for everybody, knowing we would never see him again. When I'm getting ready to leave, the lady come up to me, she like, Franklin, can I talk to you in private, it's important. I'm like, all right, we alone, so what's up? She like, Franklin, Gerardo is Gerald's son. We just found out two days before he was killed. He wanted to make a proper introduction. He just didn't have the time. I got paperwork to prove it. Man, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, y'all. After having my mind blue like that, y'all, I just looked up into the sky. I knew my Uncle G was looking down on me. I had to take care of his son like he was my own, just like he did for me growing up. Now, a week later, y'all, the feds were still hot on my trail, and they was trying to do anything that they could to catch me up and get them a bus. Taking pictures, surveillance, all that. But what they didn't know, y'all, your boy was way smarter than that. See, I had already moved my stash house. 
The I got with Agatha and bought this old building down the street from the hood. This was gonna be the new stash house. I told y'all I was three steps ahead of the feds. And y'all, I had too much to take care of. I had all these people counting on me to feed their families, so this was my best move. When I was by myself there, I'd get my feelings and have a couple drinks. The guilt and the pain was eating me up, gang. And this was the only thing that could temporarily numb it. So I had told Lil G Stone to meet me at my office the next day. Have a seat, little cuz. He looked pissed, y'all. Now that I know you family, I'm gonna take care of you. He get to telling me, hey, that's cool and all, cuz. But I'm here to find out who killed my pops. That's all that's been on my mind. It's making them pay for robbing me of that chance out of relationship with them. Now I know you know something, so just point me in that direction, and I'm gonna be on the way. It's nothing to discuss. I'm like, cuz. I got it handled. Stand down, you too young. He like, no, nah, fuck that, cuz. I've been in these streets since I was 12 thugging on the set. I'm ready now. And if you ain't gonna help me out, I'm gonna jump out there myself and handle it. I'm like, listen, G-Stone, I owe it to your pops not to get you mixed up in this mess. He would've wanted better for you. I just can't let you throw your life away, cuz. He was so pissed at me, y'all. But I was trying to do the right thing. So the next day or I called a meeting with this OG cat from families named Big Blaze. Now him and my Uncle G, they go way back to grammar school days. And he had a lot of love for him. Now I ain't know if I was doing the right thing, but with me taking Joe Hun out. It was going to leave a big market open on the east side. And if it was any way I could step in and regulate it, I had to take the chance. Young Blood I had a lot of love for your uncle. And there's some of us that don't like how Joe Hunt been doing business on the east side. He got shit hot. I'm like, well, check this out, OG. As long as you and your people back me and don't get involved in what's coming next, I'll front you 20 bricks a week. 30 a unit and more once you prove your loyalty. Listen, my people with you, but the ones loyal to him and his pops, they gonna retaliate about this. I'm like, OG, oh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But dude gotta go. I'll be in touch with details about the drops. You just keep your end of the bargain. Now with some of his people backing me, it was time for phase two of the plan, y'all. So later on that day, I had Phase 2 pull up to my spot. I had heard how Joe Hunt thought with his little head instead of the big one, and how he loved threesomes. So I had two females I was fond of pull up on me. Now these were some cute females, gang. I knew he was going to take the bait. All right. I got 50 racks a piece for y'all. The target is Joe Hunt from Eastside Families. I need y'all to get him to let his guards down and let me know when y'all got a location and I'll pull up and handle the rest. Baby get to telling me, it's funny that you say that, Frank, cause we just saw him last night at the club and he wanted us. All right, we own it. Just had the money ready. And just like that gang, phase two of my plan was complete. I just had to let baby in on work and wait on the location. So two days later, gang, baby and them finally caught up to him. Word on the street and Big Blaze confirmed this. It was that Joe Hun liked playing the lottery every day. And there was a certain time he would go to the store to do it and grab him a bottle.
So he go in there to handle his business, you feel me? When he walk out, he know this baby girl in there. He like, oh shit. You all the females from the club the other night. Now what y'all doing on my side of town? My offer's still open if y'all trying to join the team. Baby like, I was just telling my friend I want you. Other chick like, no nah, girl, I want you. Baby like, you think you can handle both of us, baby? You like, baby, y'all must not know my name. I got more than enough for both of y'all. Show me something now. So they get the dance for him and all that, guys. He excited. He like, oh yeah, I like that, baby. We gotta get together ASAP on blood. So he pull his phone out, you feel me? Get their numbers. You know, he like, all right, baby. Y'all locked in. And I'm gonna call y'all later. Pull up. It's whatever on blood. She like, all right, we gonna be waiting to hear from you. Don't be playing. We got some tricks we wanna show you too. Hey, dog was happy as hell. Not even knowing that he was finna get alley hey, Baby and them played they rolls to the T. As soon as he pull off, baby texts me like, we gon' have that location later on tonight. Just be ready. So later on that night, y'all, it was on. Man, who would've knew this fool had an apartment on the beach right down the street from my old spot? Man, I would've been popping. So baby and them pull up to the spot. Park the whip. And pull out her phone and text me the location. And the apartment number. So they in there dancing, partying, drinking, you know, turned up, having a good time. Whole time, this fool did not know that death was right around the corner. I was on my Miami lamb truck doing the five percent. I feel like my jack, I walk on the beat. Before I wrote a rap, yeah, I was in that V. He dead on the scene, you won't do the spills. I talk to my dogs, I'm Dr. Doolittle. After that, they go to his bedroom. He like your friend already in bed what's up uh -huh. she like i just gotta go pee real quick baby and i'm all yours he like all right baby don't keep me wait too long so baby go in the bathroom pull out her phone and tell me pull up in 30 minutes he gonna be ready for you so 30 minutes later gang i pull up out there I see his whip out there and Shorty Malibu. I knew it was go time, gang. I know some real tight ends, nigga, Tennessee. Way before I ever wrote a rap, yeah, I was in the V. My t shirt, Rick Owens, my sneakers, Christian D. So I pop the trunk and grab my blower. While I'm getting ready to do what I do, y'all, my little cousin G Stone pop out the cut. I'm like, cuz, what the fuck is you doing here? Didn't I tell you I got this? He like, word on the street is Joe Hun did it. And ever since you played me the other day, I've been following you. I knew you would leave me to him. I'm like, cuz, ain't nobody playing you. I just felt like I owed your pops not to involve you here. He like, well, I'm here now, and I ain't going nowhere. So let's go finish this fool off with pop. I'm like, all right. I see it ain't no talking you out of this, cuz just stay behind me. He like, let's go put this clown in the dirt. After that, y'all, we crept up in that thing. I was mad at little cuz. But at the same time, I couldn't blame him. 
Cause I know I would have did the same thing in this situation. So we get up in that thing, baby and them coming out the room. She like, he in the bathroom getting himself together. We just put it on him. I'm like, all right, good work, ladies. I'll call y'all later to pick y'all money up. She like, all right, Frank, we'll be waiting. So after they walk out, y'all, we creep up in the room. We just finna catch this fool by surprise. I couldn't wait to see his face. He in there pissing, happy as hell. And I got his rocks off. And he thought he was finna have a great night. All right, y'all ready for round two? Oh, what kind of bullshit is this? Man, I knew I shouldn't have trust them hoes. All right, y'all got me. It's time for you to die, nigga. Don't go for that gun. Yeah, you thought you was going to kill my pops and get away with it, clown? So you brought a little helper with you, Frank? Nigga, I've been ready to die since y'all killed my pops. Do it. Man, you After ain't that, y'all, we let him up. I'm talking about cat dumping the clips in. You win it now, little cuz. How I feel to take a life. I thought it was going to make me feel better, cuz. But I don't feel nothing, honestly. I'm like, come on. It's time to get out of here. We have finally put that fool down, y'all. I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, my uncle was gone, but that clown was going to never be a problem for me and my family ever again. Plus, I still had a piece of him, his son. So we get back in the whip. I take cuz to drop him off at his mom's crib in the hood. So we pull up to the spot, y'all. I get to chopping it up with him. I'm like, how you doing on the pipe, little cuz? You a mile straight? Y'all need anything? He like, I ain't gonna lie, cuz. It's hard out here. Mom's behind on hella bills. I don't know what we gonna do. But something gotta shake. Maybe I can get money with you. I won't let you down. And this hustling shit my DNA. I tell him, call me tomorrow. We'll talk. Now, I didn't know if this was the right move putting G-Stone in the game. But I couldn't just sit back and let him struggle. Now, he was family. And I was going to always have family back. No matter what. Only God could judge me. So I'm just cruising the streets one day, gang. When an idea hit me. Like, let me go check out Benny's again. There was a lot of potential for that investment. And with the dealership doing good as it was, I could sell cars and fix them up. Make my own little monopoly, you feel me? So I pull up, park the whip, hop out, walk in, just to see how I felt about it. Thank you.
when I get in there and look around, y'all, so many ideas started popping in my mind. I could see this spot, boom. So I hit my homie Gus up, who hooked me up with the Trans Am. Told him to meet me up here. Now Gus, he was one of the best mechanics in the city, yo. And he worked for West Coast Customs. But I had to pry in from them. Remember I told you I might have a job for you in the future, Gus. Ain't you tired of West Coast Customs? What you talking about, Frank? This place? I don't know, man. You think we can really make this successful? I do, Gus. With a great mechanic like you on my side, this could be the hottest spot in the city. I'll even let you run the show, B. I want boys. I'm just the money man in this. Boy, you a smooth talker. You got me convinced. All right, let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Welcome to the team, Gus. Go ahead and take a look around at our new spot. Tell me what you think. With Gus on board, y'all, I knew this spot was going to be successful. So about 30 minutes later, I have my cousin Ant pull up on me. I tell him how he should put his money in this whip. But I don't think he was trying to hear me though, y'all. He got to tell me he'll think about it. He got a lot on his mind and the war that he had to finish off before he thought anything like that. And I really hope Cuz was hearing me, cause I knew we couldn't sell dope forever. You know? So later on that day, y'all, I'm in the shop by myself. When I get a text from an unknown number saying, "Come outside now." Man, I ain't know who it was, gang. But whoever better know, your boy don't play. So I went out there. When I get outside, y'all, it's Miguel Madrazo. What's going on, Miguel? Everything good? Get in the car. I need you to take a ride with me. All right. I ain't know where we was going, y'all. It was quiet the whole ride. In my head, I'm thinking like, is these fools finna whack me or something? But that's how you gotta think when you dealing with the cartel, gang. So we end up pulling up to their spot. I'm thinking, and I could have drove here by myself. At this point, I knew something was wrong, gang. Miguel in front of me with a blower, and here comes his pops Martin, and he looked real pissed. Are you a rat, Franklin? Because we don't like rats. Rat? Where is this coming from, Martin? And you know I do square business. You can trust me. I think I can, but we have a problem, Franklin. See, one of our associates, Agatha, has been picked up by the feds. Now you can see how this would be a problem for both of us. She can blow the lid on both of our organizations. So you will have to kill her to prove your loyalty to us or I will cut off your head. All right, I see ain't no way around this. I'll do it. So I guess Agatha was at home getting ready for the day, gang, you feel me? When she walk out the bathroom, the feds inside already. Agatha Baker, you are under arrest for tax evasion, money laundering, and assisting in the operation of two continuing criminal enterprises. We already have another team raiding your office. You're finished. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hey, y'all, I know she was sitting there dumbfounded like, what? So they get her downtown, you feel me? Take her mug shot and set her in a cell to try to break her. 
Look, Agatha, we don't want you. You're just a small fish in a big pond. Give us information on who you're working for, and we can cut you a deal. No jail time. She like, fine, but I need protection. These are some dangerous people. So they get her down to the bureau, y'all. And she in there singing like Aretha Franklin. I'm talking about telling everything. Now what she didn't know though, y'all, was that Martin had an inside guy at the FBI on his payroll. And this dude saying everything. Dude hopped right on his phone and told Martin that he had a big problem. Once show guy gets the details of where she at, just let me know and I'll handle it. Good. We'll be in touch, Franklin. My driver will give you a ride back. Man, y'all, I was pissed. Y'all, I had almost lost my life over a little misunderstanding. And I couldn't let Martin see me sweat, though. He thrived off people's fear. But it was so much on my mind, y'all. I couldn't believe this. Soon as I got back in the whip, y'all, I hit my boys up and told them move everything from the spot now, 911. The feds could have kicked in that door any time, y'all, and I wasn't having that. Later on that night, y'all, as I looked at the view from my crib, I thought on how much I accomplished and how I could lose it all. I was never going back to the bottle. She had to die, y'all. So I'm out sliding, gliding one evening, gang. Your boy had a hot day. But I stop at the BP in Korea town to grab some gas and other things for the night, you feel me? So I pull up. Hop out the whip, walk in that thing. Hey, what's up, boss man? How you doing, man? Little did I know, somebody I wasn't aware of yet was pulling up too. Hey, let me get 80 on pump 5, 93. Let me get a pack of honey bourbon backwoods and a pack of Trojan Magnums too, boy. Damn, what else I need from here, man? Hey, what's up, big money? We see who getting it all around here. Hey, cuz, do I know you or something? No, but I know who you are, though. Anybody in the streets getting money know who Big Frank is, man. You got it all. Yeah, streets. I think you got me confused, cuz. You coming here sounding like the feds or something. Alright, for sure, big dog. Man, y'all, all I was thinking was, who is dude and how you know all my business? Man, I had me pissed and paranoid at the same time, gang. I ain't even want my gas no more, y'all. And I was so weird, I hopped right in the vet and got out that thing. 
I get my gas somewhere else. And I had to figure out who dude was, or it was gonna bug me all night, y'all. But anyways, I pull up on my dates, you feel me? Yeah, y'all remember baby girls in the car dealership? We have been kicking it for a while now. So anyways, after I thought scoop her. We go down, I take her to Whiskey A Go-Go in West Hollywood, you feel me? It's doing a little something, you know. We getting that thing, y'all. We upstairs in the VIP section. She dancing, getting turned up. Yeah, baby looking real good, y'all, huh? She probably wondering, like, what's wrong with him? But anyways, y'all, I don't let baby talk me into getting lit. Man, look at me, gang. We both in there looking slizzard. Hey, baby. I think it's about time we head to my spot. She like, okay, baby, let's go to your spot. I'm spending the night with you tonight. So we hopping my whip and head back to my spot, y'all. Whole time, we being watched. And that's her husband, Michael Caruso, Italian mob boss of the Caruso crime syndicate in L.A. And this dude was bad news, y'all. Murder, extortion, all kinds of crime. And I know he was pissed seeing me with his wife. So next day, y'all, I'm at my dealership. Man, the cars have been selling like crazy. We got rid of the GT63, the 72 Impala, the 96 Impala, and the Maserati, y'all. Yeah, money was flowing all through this time. But I was up there waiting on my boy How to bring me my new toy to celebrate all this. Man, as soon as I seen him pull up, y'all, I walked out there like, hold on, let me go check this out. Man, how you always come through with them exclusives for your boy, man. I appreciate that, cuz. You like, don't mention it, Frank. It's only 10 of these in the U.S. I'm like, so this for $1.9 million will get you, huh? This that 2023 Bentley Balakar Mulliner, y'all. On them green forges. With that green trim on the interior, y'all. Yeah, gang. I was definitely feeling this. We gonna call this the money whip. And I couldn't wait to stun on everybody in the streets in this. First thing I did, y'all, was pull up on Baby Boo. And she had to see this. Anyways, y'all, after that, we pulled up to my auntie crib in the hood. My cousin and pulled up with a couple of the homies, too. So we just out there cooling it, and they going crazy about the Bentley. I like little cuz and Beamer, too, though. He like, I cuz, I gotta holler at you about something real important in a minute, and I don't really know how to say it, though. 
I'm like, all right, cuz, we can politic in a minute. Don't worry about it. We got all day, man. At that same time, y'all, my little cousin G Stone pull up on me. Nigga with big, if a shoot to the kids, I be frequent and fifth. Shit, you right in your look, got a thap at no hundred. They look like some hills. Got some NBA players, I'm serving them zip. When she walking, she giving me brand new. I could. I need to holler like at you ASAP. This is important. And Ant just said the same thing that he need to holler at me. And y'all two come to the backyard real quick. Damn, look, cuz, what the hell you got going on, fool? I thought I was doing the fuck. I think some niggas from the hood robbed me, cuz. Robbed you? Yeah, hold on, cuz. Niggas should know better than to play with you. Our name, hold, wait. Hey, cuz. Don't trip. We gonna get on them niggas if you want us to. No, oh, cuz. I'm gonna handle this myself. It's personal. Niggas gotta know it's consequences for playing with me. I got this, but just let me know if y'all hear anything, and I'll tell y'all if it get too hectic. So what you gotta tell me, Ant? Man, cuz some fool named Lil Greedy from Hoover's jacked my boy Jimmy for 17 bricks out front of him. They say he sliding the orange bins on 4Gs. I'm thinking, and that's crazy. Cuz a nigga in the orange bins was at the gas station yesterday. Damn, cuz, I guess we all got problems. The nigga approached me in the gas station yesterday too, talking. Hey, don't worry about it, cuz. That nigga as good as dead. Listen, cuz, if y'all need my help, just let me know. Ain't nobody out here finna play with the Clinton boys. Man, I was so pissed, y'all. I had to get out of there before I put hands on Lil' Cuz. But at the same time, I was thinking, like, damn, I caught that fool yesterday. And I could have had him if I would've knew about the situation, man. Whatever. So later on that night, y'all, me and baby just chilling at the crib, talking. You know, I'm smoking an L to calm me down, but I'm still thinking about that loss, you feel me? Now while we out there, somebody rang my doorbell. I'm like, who the hell this could be? And I tell baby, hold on real quick. So I pull out blower and go see who it is, because at this point, with everything going on, Anybody can get it. When I get up there, it's one of the Madrazo goons. Get dressed. The bosses need to see you right now. Man, y'all, I was pissed, but I couldn't be. This what happens when you're dealing with the cartel. They know everything. All right, here I come. So I'll go back and tell baby you can stay here or get you an Uber back home. She like, all right, Frank, I know you a busy man. I'll catch an Uber back home. So I'll go and get dressed, you feel me? And hop in the whip with them. Man, y'all, Miguel ain't saying nothing to me the whole time. But I'm thinking, they must have found out Agatha whereabouts. So anyways, we pull up to that spot. And hop out the whip. What's up, Martin? I take it you found our little problem? Yes, my friend, I did. Our agent friend has collected that information for us, and you will meet with him tomorrow to take care of it. All right, cool. Tell homie meet me in the back of the apartments in my neighborhood at nine tomorrow morning, and we'll finish off this problem. Agatha gonna wish that she would have kept her mouth shut about our business, and that's on everything, homie. So that next morning, y'all, I'm out my hood waiting when a black light with a white guy pull up on me. 
I'm like, okay, this gotta be cuz. So I go hop in there with him and we pull off. Now I was paranoid dealing with the feds corrupt or not, but I was ready for whatever came next, y'all. So anyways, halfway through the ride, dude finally started talking to me. Alright, she's at a beach house coming up. Agatha's being guarded 24-7 by two agents. I have a sniper rifle in my trunk for you. We're not gonna make any moves until we do some baby. I'll never move so I'll be. Hey, that's cool, homie. Huh? I'm just ready to get this shit over with, man. For real. Alright, we're pulling up. This is the spot. Now we just sit here and wait. Hey, that's cool, homie, because I show clear my schedule for the day. So we sitting there waiting, y'all. Eight hours later, they pop out. You ready? You ready? Grab that rifle and this headset. I'll be your eyes. All right, homie. So bro out there with the binoculars telling me what he see. She on the top floor outside smoking a cigarette. The two agents out there with her too. Well, at this point, y'all, I'm already set up, and I let them all have it. That's what happens to Rash, y'all. Agatha knew the consequences. She knew she was dealing with dangerous people. After that, y'all, we got the fuck on. But when we riding down back to the city, y'all, I get a text from Martin saying, no loose ends. And I already know what that mean, gang. Bro didn't even know that this was going to be the end for him, too. So once we get back closer to the city, y'all, I ask dude if he can pull over ASAP. Because I got to piss real bad, and I can't hold it no much longer. Man, gang, I had already killed two feds. What was one more? If I could get the cartel off my back. Hey, I'll be right back, homie. Just give me like two minutes. He like, you got one. Hurry up. We got to get back to the bosses. So I hop out, y'all. Go behind this building like I'm finna take a piss. Pull out my pistol with the suppressor on it. Set up. Then I pop out the cut and let him have it, y'all. After that, I got the fuck on. So the next day, I pull up to Martin and no ranch, y'all. With this issue with the Hoover starting, I was just glad I didn't have to worry about going to a federal penitentiary no more. And I could get the Madrazos off my back. Alright Martin, so since I solved this problem for us, I ain't got to worry about you trying to kill me or popping up at my crib unannounced. And we can get back to business as usual, right? Ah, mi amigo. I knew we could count on you, absolutely. Everything is good, and we will be sending you 200 bricks tomorrow as a show of good faith. Game is letters. Man, you all... I didn't know how much longer I could do this, honestly. The Madrazo was basically on your boy at this point, gang. But at least I could rest a little bit easy now.
I had to figure out a way to get myself out the game before it was too late, y'all. But first, I had to focus on these new enemies we had. Look greedy and the Hoovers. <laughs> 